All right, what's up, guys? Um, today's a Friday, but look what time it is. 12.48. It was a half day in school, so that's lovely. Look outside. There's a slight mist. It's windy, little breeze, and look how overcast it is. So this looks like a spinnerbait day. So I'm going to the Kentlands, um, the spot where we've done good in the past. Uh, if you want to see summer fishing, or late summer fishing tactics with jigs and um, drop shots, Click the link above. That was a really fun day. But right now I just got a spinner bait on. I'll probably tell on like a chatterbait or a buzz bait. But I'm gonna get myself put together and um get going. Alright, I thought I was using that one to film because I thought this one was broken, but uh it apparently is not. So right now loading up the car. I just got um this is what my normal palm fishing setup is. Uh miscellaneous Senko creature bait hard bait. Uh Senkos are start are gonna start to come out of the game pretty soon, but I just decided to leave them in there because that pond is pretty, pretty interesting. As I was saying, um, I just got a mini king on little uh, Mr. Twister trailer and a um, square bill. Uh, it's just subject to change. It's my time a chatter bait or um, jerk bait. I guess we'll just see when we get there. But um, I guess let's uh, get there about now. All right, this audio is probably some garbage because. I got the big drainage thing right there, but I think I'm gonna start off with the, um with this little mini king spinner bait. Uh, the water fish just right there. The water levels have risen a lot, and um so with this system that came through, in theory the fish should be um pushed up shallow. And this whole part right here is pretty much a flat, so I'm gonna focus on trying there. But I guess we'll see what this little trip brings us. Backlash there, Ace. Of course, right when people are coming, it's gotta go in a bird's nest or reel. That's key to your um, making you look like you know what you're doing in front of new people. God, this is gonna be some garbage audio right here. I already know it. Because I got the wind, I got the little blower thing. This is not gonna be good. But hopefully, I can make the most out of this day. Ah, squirrel time. I just gotta get one off here. Then I can move somewhere else. I just wanna satisfy myself though by getting one. I don't get it. This front should have been just pushing all these fish up. Pushing them right up. Oh, there's a fish. Hit it on the paws. Look at that. That was almost instantaneous after that square bill. But there we go. That's a. He ate that. He trucked the square bill right on the buzz. He trucked it. But that's a decent little one. Not a half a pound. Oh, shoot. I'm a googan over here. Those kids, they're fishing. They're fishing shallow, too. So that's always a good thing to do. I better wash my hands with these little tiny treble hooks. But, you know, not an overly bad fish for this little pond. Uh, it's a really, really decent fish, actually. All right, let's get some more. So what I'm doing with this square bill is I'm just paralleling it with the bank, and that one is hit it like I'm just doing like a, like a strip pause retrieve, like a real pause retrieve, and he hit it on the pause. So, so con, so this is, don't, I didn't bring a sink. I'm changing the subject, but I did not bring a single spinning rod today. I brought just two bait casters because I have no, no way I, I want to do finesse. So um, I'm just gonna power fish this, power fish reaction baits, and uh, as you probably saw, it paid off. I, I already caught one, but I think I'm gonna fish a square bill and a jerk bait today. I don't know what I'm doing with this jig? I should be throwing a drop shot. Nothing with this jig. Senko time. What the heck? All right. This wacky worm has never failed me here before, so I want I came here wanting wanting the power fish this spot. Jerk baits, spinner baits. I switched over to jig, didn't do much on that. But I've never came here and wacky fish and not caught a fish. So this is just my confidence bait here, along with the drop shop. I don't have any drop shot hooks with me. So let's see if we can't get one on the wacky. 
Um, I don't know if anyone knows where this is, but I'm not gonna announce where I am. This is not the spot to get too pressure. If you fish here, do not walk on that beaver dam. Michael and I have made that mistake two times, and it has a lot of mites on it. There's my mom. Oh god, I spooked a bunch of fry. God, I'm gonna stand on that beaver dam so bad. And here comes the rain, so. My lens is about to be garbage. Oh! One just picked me up. Right off that wood. I didn't let him run with it for long enough. Oh god, there's one right there. Just lost him. He ate it right at the right at the bank. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just off in like doo-doo land or wherever I was when he hit it. He, he must have followed it all the way in. So that's just to show you that these fish are up shallow. Kind of fishing this at a moderate pace, but there's so much stuff on the bottom. I don't want to fish it, let it drop all the way, but just casting it out. Again, just yo-yoing it. If you don't know what yo-yoing is, that was a bite. Um, it's like, it's rising and falling with the crank, with your um, uh, lipless. So, you can't really use a floating rattle trap or anything for this. But this is just a BPS, turning special, um, little lipless. It's about um, an eighth of an ounce, I think, is what the weight was, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I'm just doing a rise and fall. It imitates a dying uh, shad or bluegill or little bait fish or whatever's populating this lake. Probably a little bluegill. I probably said bluefish. I'm thinking about bay fishing because I'm doing that this weekend. Oh, and shout out to Michael because he's going to be um, uh, fishing the bay this weekend. Well, I'm kind of surprised right now, actually. I just found the drop shot hook that I thought I never had. It was in there. Uh, so I'm just going to say what the heck and throw a drop shot since I'm not really having much, any of much else action. And then I was just thinking about using one of my micro panfish hooks. And I came across this little size 6 skinny bear drop shot hook. My all time favorite drop shot hook. So I'm just going to rig up a drop shot and see what I can do. Alright, I've got a couple bites here at this dam. Just pitching a little drop shot around. Um, I, I power fish a little bit more. But I just think around this woods, my best bet. God, these fish. I pick it up. And they like run with it for like two seconds. Like, I, I'm almost wondering if these are just bluegill who are biting at it. Because they like, when I go to let them eat it, and there's. I let them eat it, and then there's nothing there. Got them that time. There we go. Finally. Finally won. That took w w entirely way too long to get that fish. I kept feeling them. But this isn't an outrageously good fish, but that's pretty much my average size here. But uh, nevertheless, any bass here is a good bass. So let's see if I can get another one off this lay down. Yeah, all right, I'm done. A couple bites on this little overkill drop shot. Let's see, were there bites on it? Definitely bites. There's teeth marks on it. But I guess the fish never connected with the hook. Um, Start off this day, won the power fish, power fish, power fish. That's all I wanted to do. Um, I power, I got caught one on square bill, missed a couple. I missed one, I lost one right at the bank on, um, what the hell is it called? Uh, on a lipless crankbait. Took me a while to figure that out. Um, 
that's pretty much all. Missed a couple of drop shots. Are you kidding me? Some fish just busted right over there. I'm going. But as I was saying, I missed a couple on a drop shot. Um, no, I don't want to go over there. A couple on a drop shot. Um, caught one on a drop shot. Missed a bunch. That's pretty much all. Um, perfect conditions out here today. Not always the best um, fishing uh, what we got going here. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. My first time fishing since um, probably last weekend. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you in my next video.